Hussein, I can see clearly now the rain has gone. <laughs> Do you know today was actually quite hazy, yeah, with all the Saharan dust in the air? Yep. Um, I mistook it for rain at some point, but Kalina, yeah. I understand we do have some tropical waves approaching right, us. Right, we have tropical waves coming in. Does that mean it's more rain, or do we have dry tropical waves? We have dry tropical waves. In fact, for the year to date, we've had over 40 tropical waves moved across Trinidad and Tobago, and not every one of those waves brought rainfall, and some of the waves that are to the east of us may look like it's not going to bring any rainfall as well. So let's go take a look at what's going on in the Atlantic because we have a parade of tropical waves moving off the African coast. And the one that's closest to us is forecast to move across the region on Friday. But as it moves towards Trinidad and Tobago, it's going to encounter two things. One, lots of Saharan dust that's already across us and dry air typically inhibits showers and thunderstorms from forming. The other strong wind shear from the west and that's going to be pushing all of these showers and thunderstorms away from the tropical wave as it moves across us so even though we could see some showers friday night into saturday morning generally dry set of days are ahead for trinidad and tobago these other two tropical waves moving off the african coast are slow moving so we'll continue to monitor them over the next several days but they pose no threat to us here in trinidad and tobago at this time and we're also monitoring tropical storm call the National Hurricane Center has this at maximum sustained winds of 60 miles per hour, so it's strengthened since last night. And it's now forecast to move into southern Mexico, where tropical storm watches are in effect from Tampico all the way down to Tabasco, Mexico on the southern coast. And it's forecast to gradually meander in the area over the next couple of hours and then begin its southward movement, making landfall sometime on Saturday. Now looking back close to home, we do have some isolated showers across mainly Tobago and northeastern Trinidad where we had heavy rainfall today. So looking at the forecast for us overnight tonight, generally settled conditions across the country, but those same areas, eastern Trinidad and even parts of Tobago could see an isolated shower or two. Minimum low temperatures around 23 to 25 degrees. And for tomorrow, the sunshine is back in the forecast for Trinidad and Tobago. And that means temperatures are going to get quite warm, up to 33 degrees as our maximum high. Could get a, a bit warmer across western and urbanized areas of Trinidad. Now, something to take note of, we are still in the wet season. So that means during the afternoon hours, we could see pop-up showers, mainly favoring western and hilly parts of Trinidad. But they shouldn't last too long. And the street and flash flooding threat remains low tomorrow. Looking at the marine forecast for those looking to head to the beach seas right now are slight to moderate with waves up to 1.5 meters in open waters and in sheltered areas less than 0.5 meters and spring tides have ended so it's a great time to go to the beach just follow the advice of lifeguards and looking at the extended forecast we could see some showers like I mentioned Friday night into Saturday so that's why we're seeing a bit more rainfall on Friday but Saturday Sunday and Monday generally sunny skies and warm temperatures continue so as you head out tomorrow walk with the sunscreen the water and perhaps wear life clothing to beat those heat to beat the heat or beat those temperatures all right ryan ryan so that's the forecast finally some sh uh, finally some sunshine finally because some sunshine. i'm so accustomed saying showers sunshine in our you've forecast. been saying it for too long it's been know. over a week i'm yeah. fed up of the rain and i can't believe i'm going to say this but i can't wait to see the sun <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly it's been get some sunburn